Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hunter Call of the Wild. We are prone because we are crawling right up on some plains bison. We're going to get so close I'm going to be able to take my arrow and just stab him right in the butt. Look at them. They're right there. Let's try and take this high ground. And I can shoot down on them, and let's see if I can uh, get shots on more than one. I do have the perk where um, I can shoot while prone. So, uh, that'll be nifty. We are rocking the 600 grain arrows. Big these guys are. Let's get a little closer, shall we? I want to be able to lick them. How'd you see me? I am one with the shrubs. That one's already down. Let's see if we can sneak up and get a couple more of them. It's I'm almost better when they almost char when they basically charge me, because with this compound bow with the six hundred grain arrows, it it turns them into freaking kebabs. They charge at you, you just shoot them right in the head, and it goes all the way through them right out their butt. Quit running away, you bum. You know what? I'm gonna go fast. Oh, now you decide to run, you bum. To accept this. Chase him down. When in doubt, chase him down. Let's go over this hill and see if we can pop shot one. Oh, that missed. <sniffs> Come back here and say you could leave. Is that a, that's a bear? I see you. Where'd the bear go? Can I get my arrow back, please? And thank you, yoinks. There you are! Yes! You're going down, clown! You're going down! Damn, that was a 600 green boy. You ain't going nowhere. I got you for three whole minutes. What movie? Kudos to whoever knows what movie that's from.
Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, are you dead over in the shrub? No. He's not going down. Am I going to have to put a bullet in him? That's him? Over out yonder, way out Boondyville? He's going down. Die! He's going to die and roll down the hill. I can see my arrow blinking in your butt. How far is he running on 0 to 25 health? Dang, boy. He went a lot farther than I thought he was going to. That was not a good shot. But still killed him. That's the thing. These, these 600 grain arrows are... Freaking... Destroy! I basically always carry a bow around for that reason. Because if I get charged by something, all I have to do is pull this out and just shoot it right in the freaking face. I wish I would have been able to get more of those bison, but they uh, were alerted to my presence. Even though I was like... I was one with the grass, okay? There was no way they were seeing me. They might have heard, like, a little fart slip out or something, but besides that, I was... I was stealth. Bronze. See? <laughs> See? We literally hit it. In the foot. And it killed it. Look. No vitals. Nothing. Freaking heal. Achilles heal. And he and and took it down. So imagine when you get a decent shot. Like you saw with the bison. It doesn't go a whole lot of anywhere. We need to move spots. We need some place juicy juicy. To be honest, I do most of my hunting in this general area right here. And because it's where so many of the freaking animals are. Um, yeah, I still haven't fully explored the rest of the entire map. But is there a need to? Why is it blinking? Huh. Let's fast travel here and see if we can pick up on some any more bison. Maybe a bear or some turkeys. We also gotta stock up on some arrows. Because, uh... I eat through those. They're like candy. More of the 600 grain broadhead tracer arrows. These ones are nice because they blink and you can see them. Yoink. Uh, one more. And then let's get some more. 308 polymer tips. Because polymer tips are uh, the better than the softer points. Oh, but uh, look at the, the penetration versus expansion rates on the soft points. It's 19 to 52. This one's 44 to 13. Penetration on a lot of these animals is better than expansion. It, it, it don't matter how much it expands if it only goes an inch into the animal. If it doesn't break through the freaking rib cage, ain't gonna do, do you no good. Yoink. 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 By a lot of them. It's like the main gun I use. Three weights. Oh, 
any yummy yummy animals that want to come and say hello to me? Actually, you know what? Let's hop on a different map, shall we? The way I can get to the different maps from here. Can I switch a different map? H. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Ooh. Harsh Felden. Never hunted on this map. Let's try it. I need to buy a couple more of the maps. I want to hunt freaking New Zealand. That'd be sick. I got some buddies in New Zealand that I was going to go do some hunts with. But then he got married and kind of fell off the face of the planet. It's kind of what happens, though. We knew each other uh, and lived together when we were in... Or when I lived in Africa. We were uh, roommates. Freaking awesome. We'd make up, we'd Hi, make food, and talk about freaking arrived. rugby. Welcome to Central Europe. Look, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, I'm oh. Connie, the Wild Heater of Hirschfelden, Reserve Warden, that is. The Wild Heater of Hirschfelden. Hmm, Malay. Hirschfelden is one of the oldest hunting reserves in Europe, and we host a diverse population of the most popular big game for all hunting tastes. It's also the most beautiful place on earth. No, I'm not biased. At all. It is pretty beautiful. It's, it, it, I don't know if it's the beautifulest, but it's beautifuler than uh, some places. Falling out of the sky. Go ahead and have a look. Descending crack. from the clouds. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Of Hirschfelden's fields and forests. Why don't you see if you can find an animal track nearby? I just got pooped out by the sky and died. And there's a freaking moose right next to me. What's that? That's just a sign. What are you? A roe deer? Hunting roe deer? They're not the most difficult to hunt, but keep in mind their excellent senses of smell and hearing. It don't matter what I'm shooting them from forever away. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? That's what a roe deer makes? That sound? This thing looks tiny. This thing looks like I can fit it in my pocket. I think uh, an iPad is bigger than this deer, guys. We might have to stop and make a little campfire and uh, kick ourselves up uh, three chicken nuggets. Dude, I think you're chunkier than this deer. Roscoe, come stand beside it. Fourteen kg. Fourteen kg. <laughs> Why did I waste a bullet on this? <sighs> what class is it? Three. Well, let's go find something else to chew. Hopefully something bigger than a chicken nugget. Should just take it out with my freaking 22. In all honesty, this 22 is kind of OP. To be honest, like I uh a red fox. I want you. What was that? Is that a squirrel? Are there squirrels on these any of these maps? <laughs> Anyways, I, I did kill uh a wildebeest with a twenty two. Reckon it was by accident, but I killed it with one shot with my twenty two. I know there's probably things I need to go I saw soap some out. In that area earlier this morning. Hold on. Lady, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm gonna fall off this cliff. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. 
Water. There's always things by water. They must feed and drink. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I've been called before. Let's go check out these. Uh, jump up the rat, you can do it. Move those legs of yours. Jump! When in doubt, jump! Usually these tracks will lead you to ones that are pretty calm because it wants you to go track them down and obliterate them. I notice you're after a fallow deer. Be sure to stay concealed. They have some of the best eyesight among the reserve animals. Your Their good hearing and smell doesn't make things easier either. You already said that, lady. Let's head that away. Forget you, roe deer or fallow deer, whatever you are. I don't care. I'm taking your poop. I feel like all the animals in Europe, well, in certain areas of Europe, are just tiny. Like their deer are just. Come here, poopy poopy. I'm gonna have to put a shotgun into my loadout. Are those pheasants that are flying away? Like I said, this is my first time playing this Hirsch Fairlidden map. It's, it's pretty dense. Come to me. I want to eat your face. Lather you up in barbecue sauce. We need to get to an open area. So we can actually see some stuff. And take them out. Because you ain't going to be able to get nothing in this bench shrubbery. What the... Flapping right in my ears. I haven't done like hardly any bird hunting in this game. Most of the maps I have don't even have very much, very, very many birds or whatnot I could even shoot. I think the one or a couple ducks that I've shot were on like the Africa map. And that was only because they were like literally right there at the lake I was scoping out. Quite a view, isn't it? From here you can see a lot of great hunting opportunities. Dang. In the, nearby the autumn area. Col colors is are so nice. For a lot of hunters. <laughs> The fallow deer is such a classic just animal to hunt. That time in the but year. we also get a lot of history buffs here. To the south lies the Hirschdorf Hügelgrab, a grave mound dating back to the Bronze Age. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. They're essentially base camps. We see it. We gotta take it. We are swapping sights to uh, the biggie boy. 16 by 50. Let's do this. Where'd he go? Oh. 
Oh my gosh, my guy would freaking stop shaking. Come on, this is ridiculous. What's that? It's a log. I lied. I thought it was something cool, but it's not. Over there. What's that? Oh, freaking wrong gun. <laughs> Noink. Got him. Let's go collect him. Get down from here. Okay, I'm confused. I lost where which direction I need to go for this freaking deer. We gotta go back up and So we needed to head uh, roughly north. Okay. Slightly off in uh, this ish ish a direction. Collect a road deer. Is that literally all we're gonna get? Just bring on this map. These tiny little chicken nugget deer. Is that another one? Nope, the colorations are throwing my mind away off. Reload. Just in case, you know, uh, a Siberian tiger just like pops out and wants to eat our face. Come at me, bro. Do it. I dare you. Okay, I love this 16 scope, but when you're just scanning, it is way too big. It is uh, a bit of a chunk. Oh my gosh, shut up. Oh, it's right there. That was kind of cool. When it w when it doesn't show you where their sound is coming from, it's usually because they're like right on top of you. I need to get a shotgun into my inventory and take a couple of these out. Plus, it wouldn't hurt to up my shotgun score, my shotgun points, because that I I don't use shotguns, guys. I rock a rifle, a 22, and usually the bow. I just haven't had a need for shotguns. I used one at the very beginning of when I first got this game. And the one I have is literally garbage. Like I could I could throw a fart at the thing and it would be more effective. First waypoint unlocked. Ooh, yummy. Okay. Cozy. 
busy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or just taking a break. Yes! Oh, you found a shed! I found a shed! I remember finding a big deer antler for the first time as a kid. I'm gonna turn it into like I had dug up some real candles treasure. for knives. I still have it at home. Or turn it into a hat rack. Could do that too. It's already nighttime. You gotta be getting me. Challenge to pass the time when not to to Many of the animals are shedding their antlers this time of year. They're still tricky to find, of course, but I guess that's why people like to collect them. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. I hope you don't mind. I think I mentioned Gerlinda, right? Well, here's the thing. I don't she's care, Belinda. Belinda. Her second one, actually. She's got a small obsession. Uh, what should we name this one? Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone oh, to help man. out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so. I what can I say? I'm a man of many offer. talents. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in Rattenfeld. She'll pay quite well for it, so it may be worth Hosh the effort. Fair. If you were looking to help out Gerlinda with that Vasquez picture, you're in the right place. Cyclone. You're in Rattenfeld. The freaking range on that is just stupid. It's stupid. It's like, oh, if you're not within 50 feet, might as well not even do anything. Get rid of that. We are rocking. The 308 stalker with Gerlinda is lovely, but here's a friendly tip. Don't ask the 22 her about deer unless you mean it. She will not stop. And Beyond the garbage shoddy, because that's on the other hand, there's what we no have. one better for hunting tips when it comes to fallows. Oh, and her venison is out of this world. Makes me hungry to thinking about it. We're going for the truncated. And ooh, let's buy some bird shot. Bird shot, bird shot. <laughs> Forty should be a plenty. Hyperion. We're not rocking the bow on this assortment. That should be fine scope wise. Predator. I don't know what's on this map. Road deer, we saw one of those things. Let's save. And this will be our loadout. Um, 308, 22, and a 12 gauge. So, uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to be hopping on this, and uh, we're going to get ourselves some pheasants, guys, because uh, those are some beautiful animals. So until then, I'll catch you guys later. Bye now.